Okay guys, so to start off with, the first thing you're going to need is uh, refined iron, which is made by putting normal iron in any type of furnace. You're going to need this all throughout industrial craft, so make sure you have a lot of it. Okay, you're also going to need some rubber. This um, is very important in industrial craft. It's used to make insulation for cables. Um, it's only found on rubber trees, and these trees are easily recognisable by their two or three leaf pointy bit on top. And uh, to get the rubber, or resin I should say, off the side, uh, you need to get a tree tap, which is made by uh, six planks. And don't forget to check further up the tree because it can spawn underneath the leaves. Now we're going to make the generator. Just follow what I do next, making sure to add one rubber to insulate the copper cable. If you don't add the rubber, it could explode. Next, add two redstone and four tin to make an RE battery. The batteries can be charged up using generators and bat boxes and is really useful for bringing EU around with you. Next, use eight normal unrefined iron to make a iron furnace, adding three refined iron and the RE battery from earlier to make the generator. The generator uses conventional fuels like wooden items, coal and charcoal, and also some plants, and can store 4,000 EU. Next, we're gonna make a bat box, which is the lowest level storage unit in IC2. Get five rubber and copper and make five more insulated cables, adding 12 iron and two redstone to make three more RE batteries. To pick up machines in IC2, you need an item called a bronze wrench, but more on that in episode two. Okay, we're ready to make a bat box. So you should have three RE batteries, one insulated copper cable, and five wooden planks. Doesn't matter what type. So go ahead and copy what I've done and you will have made a bat box. Place the bat box near the generator and you'll notice there is a orange dot. Not on my texture pack because I'm using saw text, but on the, de on the default texture pack there's an orange dot, which is the output. All the other sides are inputs. And as you can see, it's filling up nicely. Once the bat box is full, it will start filling up the generator and once that's full, it will just stop generating. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. If you like the new uh, format I've been doing my video in, um, please tell me because I really want to hear from you guys. And uh, if you're looking for more Tekkit content, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my new Tekkit tech, tech basic videos. And if you're looking for some sort of series to watch, be sure to check out my solo series. I'll leave a link down below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.